G'day Steeler Nation, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia and happy, I think, Saturday for you guys over there in America. Good morning, Steelers Nation in America and all around the world. So today, guys, we're doing a reverse face reveal, uh, hiding my face for this one just for just for something different, um, more of like an audio podcast for the next like five, six, seven minutes or whatever. But I wanted to come up with a, a kind of a fun idea today. We're in the off season, and I've got a bit of a fun idea, and it really does involve you guys in the comment section. So please uh, hit the like. And when I ask you this question, try and think of the most randomest thing, because I read the comments all the time, and let me know what you think. So yesterday, right, the Pittsburgh Steelers have released uh, Safety Scott Nelson. Now, my first initial thought is, what does Omar Khan have up his sleeve, right? And I'll be very honest, from the very beginnings of free agency and the draft and all these things, you know, there was needs at middle linebacker, uh, needs there at offensive line, defensive tackle, you know, things like that, right? But in the same reference, Omar Khan and this organization now has really put the Steelers on the map again. I feel like they've had a really good offseason. But with this departure, the Steelers have fallen now from 90 men on the roster, right? And this also will happen a lot. This is just more for fun. Like, there could be so many more cuts coming. You've got players going in and out, um, getting cut, getting signed. It's going gonna, it's gonna to happen a fair bit up until training camp starting, uh, I think, the 26th of July training camp starts. So the players now finish mini camp. And they have a bit of a holiday, and then they come back for training camp on the 26th. But with the release of Scott Nelson, in the comments below, and try and hook it back to Omar Khan, I want to hear some wrong answers, if you guys can. Have a bit of fun. You guys can also play around with that if you want to, but have a bit of fun. What do we think is going to happen with the, the player being signed to fill his spot? Is it going to be just another, you know, possibly a guard? Does Andy Weidel get another player from the Eagles? Uh, do we bring in a slot safety? Do the Steelers bring back Benny Snell? Uh, what happens? Do they bring back Master Teague? I have no idea. So I want to hear some wrong answers only. Like I'm talking about, do we go and get Jordan Berry? Stuff like that. So yeah, this stuff right now, Scott Nelson, I don't think he was going to make the team anyway. He's more of a real depth, depth guy. Um, even when you look into the depth chart, of course, you have Minka, uh, Keanu Neal, which I, I'm pretty high on too. I, I like the way he plays. I like the way he's been doing the training camp. Um, I think, yeah, Kazi makes it. I don't think, no, I don't think Norwood will make this team. I think he might be on the outside looking in. Killebrew is going to be there for safety. The Steelers have been talking about Elijah Riley, and there's a bloke there called Kenny Robinson who I have no idea who that is. So they've cut this player, right? They've cut uh, Scott Nelson. And now the Steelers have uh, another need to fill or a roster spot. Not really not really a need because I think they've done a pretty good job over uh, the last you know few months or so. And also coming up too, guys, I'll be doing another live, I think, Monday night. I might go live and you know discuss the whole offseason, what's been happening. Because from the draft, it's been fantastic. Um, we honor this cool meme that came out of nowhere. You know, Dad, why is my sister's name Rose? Because your mother loves roses. Thanks, Dad. No problem, Steelers draft class, you know, 2023 draft class. Like, Omar Khan has had a fantastic time, and the organization, I'm more hyped than ever, right? But when these things happen, uh, someone gets released, then rumor central is going to start going on and on and on, and who do the Pittsburgh Steelers bring in? So, in this exercise, if you guys want to, let me know in the comments below a wrong answer. Like, I'm talking a real wrong answer. Like, bring back Benny Snell. Um, do we trade to get... No, they're not going to trade. Do we trade to get Devin Bush back? Do they even... Actually, not even really a wrong answer. Do they bring back Miles Jack? Is that a possibility? I don't know. There's there's so many different ideas that could happen to fill that 90-man roster spot. At the same time, if they do fill the 90-man roster spot, right, there could be more transactions coming in the next few days because they cut plays, they bring them back. They cut them again, and then by the time by the time training camp comes back, they're back on the side. So, anyways, guys, hope you guys have a good rest of your day or rest of your morning. 
being the Saturday morning in America and uh, all around the world if you're listening to. It's been fantastic. But let me know in the comments below what you think of this cut. I'm okay with it. It's part of the business. It is what it is. Scott Nelson, I hope you find a, um, a team or a practice squad or possibly a chance in the XFL. But let me know in the comments below, guys. I want to hear some wrong answers. Any wrong answers would be fantastic. I'll see you guys later.